new piece of equipment for the farm. Got us a gravity wagon. We're heading home with it. Help us reduce our cost on uh, feed and help us feed our pigs. We'll talk more about it when we get home. Here's our gravity wagon we're stopping. We've just been them a couple of miles and we're checking our straps, making sure everything's still tight before we head up the interstate. We've got about an hour ride home. Let's tighten that one up again. Looks like everything's good and tight. This is 180 bushels. So the way we figured this out is we did some research. You're not gonna believe it, but there's actually a gravity wagon calculator online. You can find anything online. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. So if you're ever looking for one and you're not sure what the uh, bushels or the tonnage is for it, we will, that way you can look it up and see. There's some simple measurements. You measure like this distance, you measure the length, of course, the width. And then you do a measurement here along the bottom. And then that calculator actually figures up the number of bushels for it. All right, enough talking. Let's get home, get this thing unloaded. I'm gonna back the tractor up and we'll hook up this pin and then we will uh, we'll see if we can get it off the trailer. See if we can get it out of here. I know we can get it off. Been 
right, so the way this thing works, is you can just roll the door up and the inside of it is all four corners of the inside, I don't know if you can tell, are sloped to that opening. My hope is that this is gonna be high enough that I can put my buckhorn under it, open the door of that gravity wagon, fill my buckhorn up without having to pick up those super sack and stuff, and then just take it and put it in the feeder. So that's the plan. It's gonna be convenient but the main reason, like I've said before, is price. I can get this delivered. They'll now bring a straight truck, uh, an auger out three ton minimum, and I can get the mash, the ground mash for $3.91 a ton, or I can get the pellets for $4.17.95 a ton delivered uh, from my feed mill that I'm using. And that's gonna drop my feed cost from 560 a ton to 417. And that is a savings of $143 a ton. And we're using a ton a week. So that is, you know, that's almost $6,000 a year back into my profit, back into my pocket as my profit. Yeah, I'll get it right here in a second, so. That's the plans, that's the hope. Let's see how close the buckhorn is to fitting under the edge of this gravity wagon here and uh, running out in it. If I have to, I'll build some ramps for it to set on. Definitely want that thing to be able to just empty into my buckhorn box. Hmm. We're gonna be about eight or 10 inches, I think, lower in the wagon than we are in the, in the buckhorn. So we'll have to figure something out. Like I say, if I have to build ramps for these to set on and then can put it in a permanent spot and just leave it there and let them come by and fill it in that same spot all the time and just pull up to it, that's what we'll do. Just got a few things to figure out. And I've already been asked the question, how you gonna keep it dry? Well, my plan is to buy good cover. A nice tarp, maybe a canvas tarp, just something really nice. Don't buy a cheap, you know, $5 Walmart blue tarp and put over it, but we'll put a tarp over it to uh, keep it dry. This is a plan for us to save money and be able to stay in the pig business because without some kind of reduction in feed cost, you know, we're just breaking even and not paying ourselves anything. So if you have any other cost saving measures that uh, you think of, let me know, help us out here on the farm. Guys, we appreciate you watching. All of you that uh, have continued to watch and all of you that spend your time watching our little YouTube channel here in this, on this little Seven Stands farm, I really appreciate it. Y'all are such a blessing to us. We thank you for that. Uh, if you haven't, go down and hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We're growing every day. And it, it just amazes me constantly how, how we're growing. And as always, guys, we'll do it all again tomorrow with our new feed wagon.